Good day everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm taking a look at a new chip projector from China. This one is called the WS314 LED projector with 1500 lumens. So 1500 lumens is not the best, but considering the price of the projector, which is under $80, I believe it's acceptable. This projector comes in this box right here, uh, not that much information onto the box itself. So we know that it has Wi-Fi, a USB input, a manual focusing function and a speaker. Onto this side uh, we just get some options uh, for the projector and onto this side here uh, some more information about it. Inside the box you'll find the remote control, it takes two AAA batteries and it does look just like a remote control that you'd find on a TV box. We get the power cable, so this connects to the projector. It also comes with an AV cable. And lastly, we get a manual. The manual is in English and Chinese, however, the translation onto the manual here is not the greatest. For example, at number 14 right here, um, if you read, it says TF card into my mouth. So yeah, the translation is not the greatest onto this manual. Now onto the projector. The projector is not that big. The top here it's all shiny and we also have all the buttons right here on top. There is also an uh, LED light here that flashes green red uh, depending on what you're doing on the projector. On the back of it we have the HDMI port, the VGA port. This is where the IR blaster is. So you will have to point the remote control towards this area for the remote control to work. We also have a slot for a TF card. If you want to attach some speakers to the projector, you're going to have to plug them in here. We have the AV plug, a USB port and a port for an antenna. On to the right hand side of the projector, we find the plug for the power cable. This is a hole um, so the projector doesn't uh, overheat. And on the front here, we just find the lens. We do have a focus, manual focus uh, wheel right here. And also the keystone uh, right here. The keystone it's a bit difficult to be accessed because it's sitting in the between this plastic here and this plastic, and it is a bit um, difficult to access. However, it can be done. And onto the left side of the projector, it just have some more holes uh, so the projector doesn't overheat. On the back of the projector, we don't really have anything, just the model number, and uh, we do have an adjusting. Uh, leg here so you can just open this as much as you want and this way the projector is gonna be higher or lower uh, or whatever so this is so you can position the projector uh, easier now this is an led projector so that means that the lamp inside will last for 20,000, 30,000 hours so for a long long time which is really good because you're not gonna have to replace it you're probably just gonna throw the projector away because the led lamp will most likely be working before um, everything else inside fails so that is a good thing the price is not that high either However, the resolution of this uh, projector is not the best. It's only 800 by 480, so not the best uh, resolution out there. And this projector only has 1500 lumens. It is higher than other um, LED projectors uh, from China. However, it isn't the best there, uh, out there either. So next I'm gonna connect this to a TV box. Um, I'll attach a USB stick to it to uh, see how uh, well it does uh, over Wi-Fi uh, connected to a smartphone and so on. And we'll check it out. Okay, so I have the projector turned on. It is dark now, so I can see the projector rather good. However, the further away you're gonna be from the wall or whatever you're projecting on, it's not gonna be as clear. So this is basically a USB menu and here you can uh, see whatever pictures, music or uh, movies you do have onto the USB. So I do have a couple of movies. I'm going to try playing uh, something that's uh, at 720p and we do have a play button onto the remote. So I just press, uh, press that play button and we'll give it a second or so to see if it actually starts up. The projector does have a speaker, uh, I don't believe it's the loudest speaker out there. And it seemed that uh, it started up. And it seems to go quite smooth, I have to, to admit. I wasn't expecting it to go uh, that smooth and the, the quality is rather, rather good. So I'm pretty happy uh, with what I'm seeing onto the wall. Now I'm gonna try to turn up the volume. So the volume is at 100%. We'll see 
let's see if we can skip this uh, forward somehow so this is fast forward uh, i just want to go somewhere where um, we can hear the the speaker unfortunately the sound doesn't uh, seem to work on this uh, particular uh, movie so we're back here let's try a 1080p movie so the 1080p movie was this one right here so i'm gonna try uh, pressing play we'll see if this one uh, works and you can probably hear the speaker onto this one so this is at maximum volume even though it's better than the last projector that I tried and the quality is good again and it seems to go smooth again but yeah the speaker is not gonna be loud enough uh, for everyone to hear this so you may want to plug in some uh, type of uh, speakers so yeah this one seems to go uh, quite good as well it's better than uh, I was expecting let me fast forward quickly just so you can see some uh, movement so let's press play and yeah it does seem to go uh, very very good so 1080p and the uh, 720p files uh, will do fine onto this uh, projector now let me change the source i want to see something on hdmi so that was uh, through the usb so hdmi so this is the hdmi i do have a tv box connected to to it so if we go to settings on the tv box here uh, and display you're gonna see the maximum uh, resolution it's uh, right at the bottom there 1080p so pretty pretty good and uh, this uh, this seems to look really good uh, as well i'm not sure uh, if you can see the exact same thing onto the camera the camera tends to make everything bluer but uh, let me just quickly open a movie here so it's not a movie it's a tv show uh, so i'll just uh, resume this and uh, as you can probably tell already this goes uh, very good as well so i'm very very happy to to see this i'm seeing on the camera that the screen looks kind of blue however in reality it doesn't actually look as blue as it uh, looks onto the camera so let's see what else we have for the source uh, here so if i press source again we just have uh, the tv but however i don't have a cable so i'm not gonna be able to see anything uh, here we do have a source for uh, pc so that's the vga port the av and the usb so all the sources uh, that we've already seen now if i press the menu here uh, once we can uh, change some stuff into the menu here so you can change the contrast brightness uh, and so on so i'm gonna go back once so menu again color temperature you can change the colors temperature so we do have uh, a couple of uh, things that we can change there and again back to menu you can choose the aspect ratio so you can uh, select that or uh, 4 by 3 noise reduction what else do we have uh, rotate the font let's see what happens so this will just change everything uh, the other way so very very cool i mean in case you're uh, holding the projector upside down or uh, something like that and uh, that seems to be it now this is the sound uh, menu so auto volume surround sound so yeah nothing too much uh, here either and the speaker it's uh, realistically not powerful enough uh, to do anything however if you add speakers you could uh, change a couple of things uh, onto here uh, this is if you want to change the time onto the projector and here the language is available so we do have those languages that you see right here uh, so quite a few there is even a uh, romanian there slovenian so yeah, there are a few languages um, available as well let me find the english one again 
so a few languages available so let's press back menu software update so if there is a software update uh, you can just uh, do that this is uh, for the cable however i don't have cable and we're back to picture um, setting so that's uh, pretty much it for um, for the projector so uh, to conclude this video it does look much much better than uh, the last projector that i've uh, i've seen uh, the picture is quite clear and it is much brighter than uh, the last project that I've seen but that one um, I believe was a thousand lumens this one is 1500 uh, lumens and yeah some movies from the USB sticks uh, also seem to work quite well and uh, no it doesn't look as blue as it looks onto the camera the camera it's dark and uh, the camera has a couple of issues uh, in darkness so that's it uh, thanks for watching guys this uh, was the end of the review if you have any questions please uh, let me know if not uh, please uh, press the like button and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching